So on March 5th, we got the shock of our lives that Binance is no longer working with Nigeria. So now that we no longer work with Binance or Binance no longer works with Nigeria, we don't have a choice than to move on. And I have been using Qcoin since Binance left the building. One thing about this trading platform is you cannot have more than one account. Because if you do, you're going to be banned out of it. I'm just going to be just if like telling you about the sign up process. Then once you're signed up, like successfully signed up, we are going to go into the trading process. I have a couple of coins in this platform that I will trade to Naira. So as a beginner, Qcoin is not, I don't think Qcoin is a beginner friendly platform. But if I am showing you this right now and you are watching the step by step tutorial, I believe you should be able to navigate one or two places on Qcoin. Or if you have money on Qcoin that you want to withdraw to your wallet, your, your bank account, or you want to trade money from one wallet to another, I you don't know how to do that, or you want to remove your money from Binance and you don't know how to do that, uh, you don't know the next uh, trading platform to make use of, I'm going to be showing you this on this platform, which is Qcoin. That's what I use. So all you have to do is to go to your Google Play Store or your Apple Store and type Qcoin. So for the purpose of this video, the link will be on my description box. So you don't go and mistakenly type or get an, a, an app that is not theirs. So the link is on my description box. It's quite easy. Just click on it and it will take you there. So once you download it, I have it on my phone. So I'm just going to click on it. The KYC is pretty, is very easy. Make use of all the information they ask of. If they have a required, like a recommended means of verification, make use of that. For the, I filled all the form, make use of your legal names. Don't have any nickname. Not in, I see, I advise you to use the information you use on your bank so that when it's time for you to withdraw your funds, you will not have any stories. And if there is a mistake somewhere, they will be able to trace it. So I advise you to make use of your names. Don't use any third party account. Just because your account information is not listed on their website does not mean you cannot withdraw your funds. If you want to go and open an account with those people in order to get an easy access, it's better you do that. But don't use another person's account. So once you are done filling the KYC form, your means of identification, they will have you, they will demand different types of means of identification. I use my driver's license for this and it was verified. So after it was verified, I was asked to do a face recognition. I don't know why that was necessary, but that was what I did for maybe security reasons. So they'll ask you to lift your head up, bring it down, do this, do that. So and that is it so once everything is verified you will come to this dashboard you will see this dashboard here and this is my dashboard and if you come over here you will see my assets that is my face recognition you will see my assets that i have and the fact the money that i have traded so far the money i have sent so far and the money i have received since i started using this platform so if you want to deposit money into your qcoin wallet all you have to do is to go to deposit and click on the wallet the coin you want to deposit if it is trx if it is usdc or if it is usdt you click on it so me i like using usdt so once you click on it to ask you to select a network if it is ethereum or tron solana algorand algorand or eos so me i use Chiaos 20. So as you can see, the latest use that's all I use, like Chiaos 20. So I copy my link over here, my address over there, and I share it with whoever wants to pay me money. So once you have done that and you have received your funds, you will get every notification. If the money has dropped, you if the money is about to drop in your account, Qcoin will notify you that you have a coin on the way. Once that money drops into your wallet, Qcoin will notify you that your money has dropped, like your coin has dropped in your wallet. So if you want to go ahead and trade, these are the trading stuff. And if you want to go, come to the market, you come click over market. This is sports. I like trading on sports. So these are the things that like Solana, if you want to buy Solana now, you can see it. So this is everything about their trading, their sports, everything. 
So if you come here to trade, let's say you want to buy a coin in, in another, like another coin from U, uh, USDT, maybe you want to buy Bitcoin, you can come over here and trade. So I'm going to be sending USDT from my Qcoin wallet to my Bybit wallet for you guys to see. And yes, all I have to do is to go to Bybit, copy my address, my wallet address on Bybit, and then take it to Qcoin and paste it so click on deposit usdt trc20 so i'll copy my address over here then go over to qcoin so i will go over to my qcoin wallet over here i'll click on okay let me go i'll click on assets down here on the bottom of the page click on it then click on withdraw you can see I have USDT. I'll click on USDT. That's what I've been using so far. Then click on paste. Let me paste the address that I have. Select the network, which is TRC20. Then the amount I want to send. Let's say I want to send 10 USDT to the wallet address, which they are going to remit um, 1.5 USDT and send 8.5 to their I want it to round up so I'm sending 11.5 USDT to my um, Bybit wallet so once I'm done with everything I'll click on withdraw and that money you can see confirm withdrawal so I will just click on confirm I'm going to click um, type in my trading verification and confirm I see on my on my screen right now you see the money has been submitted the money is processing and before it's completed bybit will notify me so as you can see let me show you i just received the money from if you can see here okay see qcoin just notified me that my i have successfully withdrawn 10 usdt then this is my deposit confirmation from bybit Saying that I have been confirmed of 10 USDT, the chain is TRC20 and the address, so the timestamp and everything is there. If you come to my Bybit wallet, I did not have any money there and I've been trading with my Bybit as well. But the, 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 this thing is not for Bybit, I'm just showing you how you beat if you want to learn anything about Bybit. I have a video for it, please go and check it out. So let me go to Qcoin, you will see. The money has been submitted and it has been completed so i'll have to come over here if i need to transfer money from my qcoin wallet to my bank account all i need to do is to go to to p2p over here let me make sure this thing is um recording so if you want to buy usdt once you go to p2p over here and you have naira and you want to buy usdt Make sure you fill your information. I did not. I don't think I made this. Yes, I. I don't think I mentioned this earlier. Make sure you fill your banking information. And after you fill your KYC and everything, the next thing you should do is to fill your banking information because this information is going to take time for it to update on your on their platform. It takes about 12 hours to, it depends, 12 hours to 4 hours, it depends. So I advise you to do that immediately so that you don't get stuck when you want to trade. So once that is done, you fill your bank information over here. If you click on these three dots on top of the screen, you see payment method. If you see mine, my, my bank is here and I'm using a bank transfer. They have specific banks that they make use of. You can see they have... First, first money, MTN, Momo, that's Momo, Ope, Pampe, Pagape, Congape, Chipa Cash, Kuda Bank, TransferWise, Google Pay, Netella Bank, Bank Transfer, and Paipu. So I make use of Bank Transfer and that is it. So if you want to make use, if you want to sell, if you want to buy USDT, all you have to do is to click on buy from the P2P, then you will click on USDT from the, uh, the list that's comes down here then you click on the amount of usdt you want to purchase let's say i want to purchase 10 usdt or 20 usdt 
the money in my wallet is US, is in USDT, so there's no need for me to buy USDT. So if you want to purchase USDT, you click on the amount you want to buy. Let's say 20, you click on confirm, and the payment method you want to use to pay for the USDT that you want to buy, you will click on it. If it's bank transfer, you click on it. As long as you have you have um you have linked your bank information on the on their platform you can make use of your bank transfer or if you have any account with any of these um commercial banks you can make use of it it's usually really fast and people that make use of it earn more than people that make use of other bank transfers so the amount of money you're going to click then once you click on it sa20 confirm the payment method you're using if it is bank if it is kuga CUDA, you click on it and you click on confirm so that it will filter the money for you. As you can see, the only person that wants to sell USDT that is within the range that I want to buy that has a bank transfer on on here. If you can see the banks, you can see bank transfer, there's, there's CUDA, there's OPE, and I don't know these other ones. You can click on it and see you, you will buy USDT for 1605 naira but let's say you want to sell and you want you want to sell the usdt that you have let's and i want to sell let's because of for purpose of this video let's sell usdt so i want to sell usdt and i want to sell let's say um nine usdt i have how much do i have okay let's say let me let me sell 10 usdt for the purpose of this video payment method bank transfer bank transfer sorry so you can see that it has filtered all the informations out for me and i will make use of those for this platform i don't know why but you can see the amount of money people are willing to sell this one is the highest edified is the highest amount that is here but the ones that let's say i don't want to use bank method i want to confirm all there you can see that is still the, the person that is there he has all the banking information here so he's the only one that let me let me make use of him and for this for qcoin you will not know who is online and who is not online but this guy this person edified has done 951 orders and he has success he has a rating of 89.88 percent then this black boy 001 his trading amount is 1,605 Naira, which is low. And he has con successfully completed 2,973,78 orders. And his rating is 66.7%, But I don't want to trust him because it seems his own, before he sends money, it usually, usually takes time. So 16,000 on, on Qcoin is currently... 10 USDT point one seven. You can see all the figures going on down there. So I'm just going to click on sell now and click on my trading password. And you can see it has placed order. I have placed my order awaiting payment from the other party. So if you can read down, I advise you to read. Edify is active for all transactions. Trust me, my payment is very fast and I wouldn't leave your trade to cancel. Call me on my WhatsApp. It's a good thing that he left his WhatsApp information here. So you can always reach out to him and tell him you have made a sale on Qcoin waiting for him to confirm payment. So you guys, I just received a confirmation alert from, you can see credit. And I just received money from Olu Sanya, Oluwa Shegun Michael. So that is the money. And you can see the amount, 16,000 Naira. So let me show you my gmail the confirmation i have not confirmed that he, i have received the payment but the fact that he has sent the money and qcoin has notified me that they have released my coin um the buyer edifier has in, in, in indicated the p2p order and this is it so let's go to my qcoin wallet and confirm so once once what you have to do is to come to your p2p as you were trading before then you click on this thing that looks like a jot a book or a journal or something then you see your trading in process or the ones that you have completed so i am going to click on release crypto because i have confirmed payment and you can see the person's name that the person that sent it his name is michael olusanya 
So the the person that received that got that sent the money to me is Michael Olusan. I'm just trying to be careful. So I'm going to release the crypto. As you can see, transaction complete, and that is it. That is my notification that I have configured and I have completed my transaction on Qcoin. So that's everything about Qcoin. If you have if you have watched this point, thank you so much. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Click on the notification bell by the side. So whenever I post any new video, YouTube will notify you. With that being said, have a nice day, guys. And bye.